In this video, we're going to learn how to perform comparisons using relational operators. We're also going to explore logical operators and how they can be used to control the flow of our programs. A relational operator is something that compares operands and returns a true or a false based upon the relationship. So you already know what these are. They're the things like the greater than and less than symbols that you've been using forever. Take a look at the picture. Notice how we're using a greater than relational operator to check whether 8 is greater than 3. Well, we all know that 8 is greater than 3, so this would return true. If it was not, it would return false. There are six different relational operators that I want you to know. Relational operators are called comparison operators because that's really what they do. They compare values and check for the relationships between them. You are used to the greater than and less than symbols, but there's a couple noteworthy additions that you're going to need to know. Namely, there's an equality and inequality comparison operator that you need to know well. So here are the six I want you to know. I want you to know how to compare whether something is equal to something, whether something is unequal, whether something is less than, greater than, less than or equals, or greater than or equals. And I've given you some examples right here. Let's take a look at a real world example. Here I am in idle. I'm going to create a new file and I'm going to declare a variable called name. I'm going to assign the value of whatever comes back from this input function. I'm going to ask the user, what is your name? And then down below, I'm going to make an if statement. If name equals James, then print welcome back James. I'm using the equality relational operator here to check to see whether name equals James is true. Now here is how you would do the inequality. Notice how I use the exclamation then the equals. I'm asking for whenever the name is not equal James. In that case, I'm going to print you must not be James. Let's go ahead and save this file. I'm going to put it on my flash drive in my coal stock code Python projects directory. I'm going to call it equality dash inequality. In the first if statement, we're doing an equality check, whether the name provided by the user equals James. And in the second if statement, we're checking to see whether it does not equal James. We're checking for inequality. Let's go ahead and run it. And I'm going to type in James with a capital J. This should match and type welcome back James. I have equality. What about inequality? What if I enter something other than James? Let's run the program again and let's enter Jennifer. In this case, the other print statement runs, you must not be James. Now let's talk about logical operators. Logical operators allow us to make decisions in our programs and to control the program's flow. Logical operators test logical conditions and either return a true or a false. They always return a Boolean. The most important logical operators that we're going to be learning are AND, OR, and NOT. Throughout, we'll be using this cat and dog analogy. Logical operators are often referred to as Boolean operators, and they're normally part of some control flow statement, like an IF statement or a WHILE loop. Logical operators are very important in programming. Programmers must understand what's called Boolean algebra, and they must memorize something called truth tables, which we're going to be talking about later. Truth tables show the results of logical operations given different inputs. Let's talk about the AND, OR, and NOT logical operators. I'm going to be using this cats and dogs analogy to demonstrate what each of these logical operators does. The AND logical operator requires that both of the things being tested are true. The OR logical operator requires that only one of the things being tested is true. And the NOT logical operator is a special logical operator when you're looking for whether something is false. This is commonly used to exclude things. So in my example, I'm looking for any family that does not own a dog. Let's explore this concept a little bit further by writing a couple programs. I'm going to create a new file in idle. And at the top of my program, I am going to create two Boolean variables, one called has cats and one called has dogs. Initially, I'm going to set both of these to true. And then I'm going to write an if statement. And I'm going to practice using this and logical operator. I'm going to type if has cats and has dogs. So I'm looking for when these both are true. If both of these are true 
and my condition is met, I'm going to print out to the screen a message. You have a cat and a dog. Now this will only print out if both of the variables are true, because that's what a logical AND operator does. Let's go ahead and save this, Control S. I'm going to put it on my flash drive in my Colstock code Python projects directory. I'm going to call it AND dash logical dash operator dot py. Now I can run this to the run menu or F5. And as you can see, the message printed out because has cats and has dogs are both true. What happens if I change has dogs to false? What if I only own cats? Will the condition be satisfied? Control S to save, F5 to run. No, it is not. You do not see a message. The AND operator requires that both things being tested be true. If I change it back, then the condition is met. That's what an AND logical operator does. It requires that the operands be true. I'm going to go ahead and copy this into my clipboard, and we're going to write another program to test the OR logical operator. Create a new file, paste the original program, and let's change the AND to OR. Remember, in OR, only one of the operands needs to be true. And then we're going to update the message. You have a cat or a dog. You can control S to save this. Let's give it a new name, or dash logical dash operator dot py. And we're going to run this one as well. You can run through the run menu or F5. As you can see, it printed out the message because the condition was satisfied. At least one of the operands was true. Let's say only has cats is true. Let's control S and then F5 run that. The message still prints out because at least one of our operands is true. But what if both of them are false? Will the condition be met? Control S, F5 to run. Nothing, which means our condition was not met. Remember, OR requires that one of the operands be true. Let's try our NOT operator. Go ahead and create a new file copy and paste the last program into it. Let's change has cats to true. And let's change our condition to not has dogs. So what we're looking for here is when has dogs is false, when it is not true. Let's change the message to you do not have a dog. So whenever has dogs is false, this should run. Let's go ahead and save this. I'm putting it on my coal stock code directory. Python projects, call this not dash logical dash operator dot py. And we're going to run this as well. When you run the program, it should print out the message because has dogs is currently false. There's our message. What happens if has dogs? is true. Is our condition met? Save and run. Nothing. And that's because we're looking for when has dogs is false. Once we change it back, our condition is met and there's your message. So the not logical operator is sort of like the reverse you're checking for false. Hopefully this makes sense now. In the AND logical operator, both operands need to be true. In the OR logical operator, one true will suffice. The NOT logical operator tests to see whether something is not true. In other words, whether it is false. To keep all this straight, I recommend learning truth tables. Truth tables are used to demonstrate the results of logical operations. Normally, you're given a couple variables which represent the inputs. Many times these are P and Q. And then you are shown a logical operation using the special symbols for AND, 
or, and not. Let's take a look at each truth table one by one. This is a truth table for the AND logical operator. In this case, the P and the Q represent inputs. You can think of these as the two variables that are being tested. In the third column, you see the results of the test. For an AND logical operator, both things being tested must be true in order for the operation to result in true. If either of the variables is false, then the test fails and returns a false. So in our case, row one is the only row in which P and Q are both true. Therefore, it returns a true. But in rows two through four, there's at least one false between P and Q, so the test returns a false. Here is a truth table for the OR logical operator. Remember, with OR, only one of the variables, only one of the operands needs to be true in order for the logical test to result in true. In rows one through three, you will see that either P or Q or both has a value of true, and therefore, the result of the OR test is true. In row four, however, both P and Q have a value of false, which fails the OR test and returns a false. The NOT operator is basically looking for when something is false. So if P was true, then the NOT operation would fail because it's looking for false. If P, however, is false, then it passes the NOT test and returns true. It can seem sort of confusing, but just remember that NOT is looking for the opposite. Normally we're looking for true, so if we say NOT, we're looking for false.